حاشاك يا حبيب الله حاشاك يا رسول الله بأبي One of the things that you know that in a, uh, people who uh, practice is the birthday of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam And of course if we look at the one of the ways to see where it started look in history how it started and who started it and the circumstances surrounding we don't find that the Sahaba did anything the Prophet didn't do anything the Sahaba didn't do then uh, the Ifo Imams didn't do because some people who follow that they say I follow Imam Abu Hanifa Imam Abu Hanifa didn't do it I don't know which Imam you follow in that then we go 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 then we come to the fourth century the Fatimites, the Fatimiyun, in particular, began this when in the fourth century. Means the Asalaf al Salih, the righteous predecessors which the Prophet spoke about, the best of people are my generation, and those who follow them, and those who follow them. They were already done. The Sahaba, the Tabi'een, Atba'u Tabi'een, the Ulama never engaged in this. After that virtuous time, there came the Shia, the Fatimites, with the celebration of Mawlid, and it, it didn't, it wasn't very popular. It became popular in the 6th century by a king named Al-Mudhaffar Kawkaburi. And the, at the end of the 6th century, beginning of the 7th century, that's 6-700 years after the Prophet ﷺ returned to Allah. And we find that people who are not generally themselves on the Sunnah took it from non-Muslims. Because they said, look, the Christians are celebrating Christmas and our Prophet ﷺ has more right to be celebrated than Jesus. Isa ibn Maryam ﷺ. Therefore, we must celebrate. And it's a good thing. Then we say it's not correct for us to celebrate it because the people who knew the, the, the religion better than us, they didn't do it. And who, who entertained it? The ignorant. On the top of the list, the Sufis, who were already obsessed with the Christian way of life, with the Christian monasticism, the Christian asceticism, living on their own and, you know, living the life of seclusion and the life of, of carelessness and so on and so forth. Supposedly, they were fascinated with that. And then they reached a point where they loved it, entertained it, and then everything the Christians came up with, they were on their path. So then, the Mawlid became popular. We do not invent or introduce new ways of worship. As some people, for example, they want to celebrate the birthday of the Prophet Muhammad So they say, well, you know, this is something good. Just the idea of celebrating his birthday, what are we doing in the celebration? We are only remembering Rasulullah we're asking Allah to bless him. You know, these are all good things. We remember his sirah, his life, and all this. These are all good things. You say this is not good in Islam? Yes, these things are good things. But to combine them on that day, every year, you have now created something new in the religion. This is bid'ah. We say, the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ is not just what he did, but also what he didn't do. You have Sunnah Fi'liya, the Sunnah of actions which he did, and Sunnah Tarkiya, or Sunnah of actions which he didn't do, which are religion, dealing with the religion. The things he didn't do, it is Sunnah not to do. Very important. Because if one opens this door, that as long as he said this, he said that, we can put it all together and come up with something which he didn't do, then the religion becomes innovated. You can now change the religion at will. Because I can bring something to you. I say to you, Prophet Muhammad said, prayer in jama'ah is worth 27 times prayer by yourself. Everybody knows this. He also said, whenever you enter the masjid, you should pray two rakat, two units of prayer, 
before sitting down. Everybody knows this. Let us put the two together. We come into the masjid. I now suggest to you, let us make Tahiyatul Masjid in Jama'ah. If I suggest that, what do people say? Why can't we put them together and do it? Well, the Prophet didn't do it. That's why. Yes. He didn't do it, so we cannot do it. And that's emphasized by his well known statement Ma taraktu shay'an yuqarribukum ila Allah illa wa amartukum bihi. I didn't leave anything which would bring you closer to Allah without instructing you to do it. That's the bottom line. قد كنت خير الصابرين وعفوا تعمن قد ظلم يا رحمة للعالمين واليوم يرميك العين